Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Spoon's Whip. I got a real quick tutorial video for you on how to build a fully customizable taming slash breeding pen. And what you're looking at is it. You're going to need several materials and about three hours of your time, which is about what it took me to build this, but it's going to save you so much time and effort at the end. I did a lot of testing on this with my own dinosaurs and it worked out perfectly. Let me show you how to make it. Guys, the first thing you're going to want is you're going to want a spot where you can fit 5x5, five five, that 25 foundations. I recommend going with foundations and not ceilings so they don't slip through when they pass out and they go out of render distance. So I would strongly recommend going with foundations. If you want to go with ceilings, just make sure that they don't go out of render distance. But you're going to have to put it on water because the rafts are the key to this little situation we got going right here so you want a five by five that's 25 foundations in a square and two rafts to go along with this i put thatch down just to make sure that it's going to work first before i get everything else put down because it would really suck to get all the way through and not be able to uh finish off my build so i started with thatch foundations i'm gonna fill them in with stone foundations on top of that because i don't want anything damaging them while i'm taming them so that's the whole reason why i go with the thatch and then i wind up going with the stone foundations later on in the video as i start to fill everything in the other thing too that you're going to want to be aware of is that you're going to need two rafts and you're going to need uh, several walls to complete this little project. And one thing that you want to do once you get the thatch foundations in is you're going to want to make sure that the raft can move along all sides of the thatch foundations first. You don't want to put everything down and then find out later that your raft gets caught on a little piece of land or a little piece of rock or something like that which is another reason why you want to go with some thatch foundations put it all down drive the raft around it make sure that it'll go into the foundations just like this you don't want to get it hung up on something because that really sucked to put all this time and effort into it and then it gets hung up somewhere I put a behemoth gate here. You can put whatever kind of gate you want, but I wanted to make sure that I would be able to fit whatever I wanted in this, not just a, a large dinosaur, but maybe this, some of the small ones. So I went with the behemoth gate here. You can go with whatever gate that you want to. Just make sure that you're able to, like I said, drive the raft around the foundation that you're wanting here because if you can't do that then this is not going to work i've tested it on several dinosaurs that i already had it's obviously going to work better for the larger the dinosaur the better it's going to work i tested it on trikes i trusted it on ankles i had a couple raptors in there i was all able to do the uh the taming of them now you would will the smaller the dinosaur the more manipulation you'll have to do with the rafts to create the smaller space and the smaller the dinosaur the more manipulation with the rafts you'll have to do for them to breed in there because you got to keep them real real close together went with a behemoth gate like i told you because i want to be able to breed rexes and maybe uh, a couple of real larger some aloes maybe i'll be able to breed in here and the bigger dinosaurs i want to be able to get through the gate i really didn't want to limit myself on what size of dinosaur i wanted to put in there and make sure you put the gate the right way so you can open it both ways in and out right and left so you wind up filling these foundations with stone foundations all the way through I didn't go, you can go with the three raft system, but I don't want to do that. I fill in this uh, far side over here with uh, uh, window frames, the uh, stone window frames, just strictly because I don't feel like messing with three rafts. Two rafts is enough and manipulating. I was kind of worried right here about this little gap, but later I fill this in, this gap right here with stone foundations there. And here I am, I'm putting them up the windows, uh, window foundations 
just strictly if I get over on that side and I need to shoot something through there I can or from the top up there of the edge of the cliff I think about putting one there and I wind up doing that a little bit later I do it three high so a Rex can't go over it so if you're breeding a Rex I don't imagine you taming a Rex in here but if you're breeding a Rex it's not going to be able to escape the pen with it being three high sometimes with two high you're able the Rex is able to step over that so three high you're going really safe here and I believe a Bronto if you're gonna breed Brontos they can't go over a three high wall either the other thing too like I told you you're gonna need two rafts here and I'm gonna show you how to sink the foundations if you want to know a tutorial on how to sink the foundations into your raft look at the previous video before this I'm gonna go through a real quick thing but I'm not gonna explain I'll explain a little bit of what I'm doing you line up a pillar in the first right over the mast where that's where the uh, where the sail comes out I put a uh, pillar there and then I wind up putting foundations on one side grabbing this pillar ripping it up and putting it onto the foundation here but if you want to know exactly how to make it the the tutorials on the video right before this one so you should be able to check it out and get all you want on how to sink the foundations here now I really wanted I've been thinking about this idea for a real long time there's got to be a way for you to be able to manipulate the walls of your uh, taming pen and your breeding pen because everything's not the same size in ARC. If everything was the same size, then it would be easy. You just create a box and then you'd be able to breed and tame everything all at one all at one time. The taming thing's not really a big deal. You just have to shoot a little bit further and things like that. But with the breeding aspect of it, they have to be in close proximity for you to get them. Now here's me putting the finishing touches on the raft you're going to need seven total across is what you're going to need three foundations four ceilings is what you're going to need two on the right two on the left i go with the window frames along the bottom because i don't want raptors escaping all your small dinosaurs that could fit through the door frames i don't want going anywhere so i put the window frames down at the bottom and i put the doorway frames because it leaves a lot more area to shoot the dinosaurs that are a lot higher in the air such as your t-rexes you're going to be able to trank them a lot easier and you're going to be able to do things like that you have a lot more field of vision so what you're going to want is two rafts you're going to want seven across seven high with window foundations at the bottom and door frames at the top and you're wondering why you have seven across but you only have five across for the foundations of the actual taming pen and that's strictly because if you make a mistake maneuvering the raft everybody knows that you can't drive a raft perfectly into the foundation so i made it bigger and wider on the raft so if i messed up just a little bit when i'm driving it into the foundations to be able to breed something or tame something to keep them close together i have a lot more room for error when it comes to those so what you do is is after you get the foundations down your behemoth gate down and you get your rafts here made you're going to manipulate these to the size of the pin that you want the front and the back or the back and the left whatever sides you leave open you're going to be able to manipulate these rafts to the size of the dinosaur that you're going to be breeding or that you're going to be taming taming not necessarily but breeding is very very important for them to be very uh, close together nothing sucks more the dinosaurs walking out of breeding distance and then you have to start the entire process over so you want that compartment that they're in as close together as entirely possible there so that's what you're going to need we'll close this off and i'll show you how the rafts manipulate into the foundations once you get everything set up with your two rafts you know you're wondering why you would spend all of this when you could just put a foundation down and then you could put uh, walls around it because you have to con continually demo things with the rafts you don't have to do that you can just move it into position and you're done you don't have to make anything else you don't have to uh, trial and error everything you just move it to the width and the height and the distance of the dinosaurs that you're wanting to breed or that you're wanting to tame and if you want something really small to knock out 
make the pen really small. If you're wanting to breed something really small, move the rafts in to make it really small. If you're wanting to breed something that's really large, such as T-Rexes, things like that, make it to the size of the T-Rexes. It makes it very, very simple. You don't have to go through a huge amount of resources. Now, I will tell you one drawback here is that the rafts are not very easily manipulated. Once you get it down, after a little bit of practice, you'll be able to knock it out. And you'll see right here, I don't get it perfectly lined up, which is the whole reason why you want seven across from left to right. So if you do mess up a little bit, right or left a pillar or two you're gonna wind up covering the entire thing you see i still have two walls on the left to work with just in case i mess up open up the behemoth gates you'll see that i put the foundations there so they don't drown which is another good deal because i messed up right there next to the behemoth gate and i didn't want anything falling through also right here you'll see a gap now i'm crouching and laying down i cannot get through there and i've tested it with the smallest dinosaurs that i have raptors beavers anklos i was not able to get them to go through it now if you want to be extra cautious put you some walls down there below those so it'll cover up that gap for you so you won't have any kind of issues when it comes to that and i'll give you another little aerial view of the way it looks afterwards you'll be able to like i said maneuver this these rafts to any size of dinosaur that you have that you want to breed or you want to knock out and you'll be able to get them in there and quick clean and boom and you don't have to build anything else all you have to do is manipulate the rafts to the size that you want the pin to be for the dinosaurs that you're breeding or you're knocking out i hope this video really helped you guys out i've already tested it several times on knocking things out and breeding things it takes a little bit of getting used to with the rafts manipulating them into the right spot but you don't have to worry about building a thing for a custom fit and then tearing it all down and then breeding something else for a custom fit and then tearing it all down this thing will incorporate all that i've tested so far i hope this video helped you i hope it gave you some cool ideas if it did please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and you guys have a fantastic arc week mm -hmm.